I think some people come in just, they're already shut down when they come in because they have no idea what to expect. And they know somebody that has had cancer. We all do. Our experience with friend or family, every, everyone is touched by cancer. So even if someone is young or old, as navigators, my personal and professional feeling is we're not family and we're not physician, but we're a compassionate witness somewhere in the middle for those patients that come in here. The people are so supportive. And I have a woman, Leslie, who has really been incredible for a long time. And when I walk through those doors, I see a smile. She always comes out, she gives me a big hug. It's having the support system that you need because you never know after you do a scan, you don't know what you're walking into if you do. I, I've maintained my uh, cancer for this long, and but it's still, I, I still have to take treatment. I usually start by asking them if they understand why they're here. Some people don't. And when those front doors open, it's as if they're walking into a foreign country and they don't know the language and they don't know the customs. So we feel like part of our job is to help translate for them. This is what the situation is. This is what will happen at your visit today. And then we will see them after they see the physician and try to help them regroup and understand what they've been told. The last time I had treatment, and uh, and I was I was very I was afraid of a new treatment that I was getting ready to have, and uh, and Leslie was there. She makes she comes up to the room chemo room, and she'll come in and give me my hugs. I said Debbie, it's gonna be okay. She gives me that support, and I, it's like, and I know that she's, she really does care for me, and that's huge. I mean, it's huge when she goes out of her way to know that, you know, I'm, I'm afraid, I'm upset, and uh, she's always been there. And that's, that's something that is priceless. We're here. Please call us, stop in the office. It's just reminding them that we're available. We are here to help them, not just their first day, but their second day and before they start their chemo and after they're through with their chemo. And then after they're through with treatment, that we're not just going to, you know, let cut the strings on the kite and let them just float out. They're gonna to continue to offer support for them even after their treatment is finished. It's a hard, this is a hard journey and I will have it the rest of my life and I'm very blessed with, uh, I'm blessed with my family, I'm blessed with my husband, but it's, it's, you know, I mean when I come here I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid. I feel, I mean it's really important to know that they're going to take care of me.